I want to show you something uh, on the show that premieres in a minute. So yeah, I looked for a, a show um, for us to for us to watch here. So you've seen Black Mirror. Have you ever seen um, Jane is Awful? No. You've heard of this guy. Um, what's his name? James O'Keefe or James O'Keefe? Yeah, I think so. You've heard of that? I actually found the episode that was based upon something he did in actually the Department of Defense. Really? Yeah. Check this out. After we expose Jason Beck, who goes by Aiden Gray, he's the Associate Director of Total Force Requirements and Sourcing Policy, Office of the Secretary of Defense, who talked about open borders. Why not just have an open border? And repealing the Second Amendment. I think we should repeal it and take them all away. We decided to be creative in how we asked him for comment. I sat down with him and told him there was a new show on Netflix all about this guy named James O'Keefe exposing the Department of Defense. Aiden Gray knew who James O'Keefe was. He would like go undercover and like try to trick Democrats into saying stuff. But the Pentagon official who has a security clearance didn't initially put two and two together that I was James O'Keefe. I told him we're going to watch the new investigation that James O'Keefe did about the Department of Defense together. I actually found the episode that was based upon something he did in actually the Department of Defense. Really? Then my plan was to reveal that I was James O'Keefe. The person that recorded you is actually James O'Keefe. Gotcha. Watch the interaction unfold right after this quick message. Not a week goes by without a news headline about potential medical supply shortages, threats to our infrastructure, or power grid. And you remember what they pulled during the last pandemic. Certain medications were mysteriously out of stock. No way will I ever let that happen again. In today's unpredictable world, it's all about being prepared for who knows what they have in store for the next pandemic. Our friends and supporters at the Wellness Company have designed this unique prescription-based medical emergency kit that is packed with eight potentially life-saving prescription-only medications, including z pack and Ivermectin, which I use myself while out on the road and starting to feel a bit under the weather. Health is everything, and this is a great opportunity to order a Wellness Company Medical Emergency Kit. The Wellness Company Medical Emergency Kit stands ready to treat over 30 common ailments, ensuring you'll have access to vital medications when you need them most. And now save $45 per kit when you order using the code OMG. Get ready to write this down. Get your wellness company medical emergency kit at twc.health slash OMG. That's twc.health slash OMG. That's twc.health slash OMG. And save $45 per kit today when you use code OMG. So this, there's this show that's based upon like what he does. And it's, I thought you'd find it very interesting given who you are. So I just want to show a few minutes of it and get your thoughts. And it's based upon this guy, James O'Keefe. Yeah. And I think the organization was Project Veritas. Oh, oh. Project Veritas. Yeah. Yes, that's what it was. Yeah. Have you heard of that? Yeah. 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 He's a terrible person. <laughs> He's a terrible person. He's horrible. Yeah. He like sets people up and they like confess all these things that they're doing and stuff like that. I think he founded a new organization. It's called like O'Keefe Media or something like that. I actually found an episode that was based upon something he did in actually the Department of Defense. Really? Yeah. Check this out. It's called Inside the Pentagon, and you're in the episode, and you're caught on tape as part of this undercover investigation, and the person that recorded you is actually James O'Keefe. Gotcha. I'd like to do some work on the state's monopoly on violence. The state's monopoly on violence? It's the idea that the this, this state meaning the country so, is your name really Aiden? And uh, you really want to ban the Senate and confiscate all guns from everybody? Repealing the Second Amendment for sure. Yeah. Uh, abolishing the Senate. Oh, gosh, there's so many things that you could do. Uh, yeah. And you have this guy inside 
the Department of Defense walking away down the stairs. He's walking pretty fast, actually. Come on, guys. There he is. He's walking away. Let's go get his comment real quick. Aiden, what's your real name? What's Jason, is that your name? Aiden, is your name Jason? Aiden, is your name Jason? Walking down the street in Washington, D.C. Uh, Aiden, is your real name Jason? Is it Jason Beck or Aiden Gray? After we published our story, an insider within the Department of Defense provided a screenshot of the repository host of all military and civilian workforce. The insider told us that you can change your name within the system, called DEERS, Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System. You can change your name to whatever you want. So Aiden Gray appears to be the name Jason Beck changed his name to when he transitioned. So I had, um, I had bottom surgery. The plumbing's different. <laughs> Insiders within the Pentagon told us this poses a security risk because people can change their identity to whatever they want. The Insider joins us on our weekly show Wednesday on the Inside at 5 o'clock. What do you think that the Secretary of Defense is going to say about all the things that you disclosed? You don't have any comments? You've been making a lot of comments to me. And I have a question for you. You've got a security clearance inside the Pentagon, inside the Department of Defense. What type of people are working in the Pentagon when you have three meetings with James O'Keefe? And you know who James O'Keefe is? What type of security operation are they running in the Department of Defense? Jason? Who is Aiden Gray? Is that your nom de plume? Is that your pseudonym? Why are you laughing? I don't have any more comments. Okay, well, I just want to know why you lied about your name. Is your name is not Jason? Well, we're here with Jason Beck, a.k.a. Aiden Gray, who's saying that he has no more comments on the streets of Washington, D.C. Part of an undercover investigation exposing the Pentagon, the Department of Defense. You also said that you wanted to confiscate all guns, ban them all, or kill the Second Amendment. Those are pretty crazy views for someone that works inside the Department of Defense. Pretty radical, I would say. The insider also provided a screenshot, a survey that comes from within DEOCS, the Defense Organizational Climate Survey. It's a culture survey done every year, and the insider tells us all employees had to enter their unique ID to access the survey. While there isn't proof that it's being used to track pro-Second Amendment employees, it sure looks that way and is alerting many of the people that work for the Department of Defense. Well, quiet, unable to make a comment, rendered completely mute after talking to us non-stop for hours about his political views. He also wants to have an open border, open border, at the Department of Defense. Pretty outside the views of mainstream Americans, but very revealing, very enlightening here in Washington, D.C. We're gonna let him walk, let him walk away. There he is, get a good view of him. Just completely shocked. I was sitting on the couch and he said, <laughs> I've heard of James O'Keefe. I've heard of Project Veritas. <laughs> he, he, we showed the episode and he was shell-shocked and you guys came out. Unbelievable. Because we're doing investigations into the White House, the IRS, and now the Secretary of Defense, Pentagon personnel, I'm personally very concerned about how every move and communication of my journalism team is being tracked by our phones. The people who support us, millions of you, are rightfully concerned and worried about being tracked and having your private information compromised. One of the things I know for sure is that with the smartphone you are likely using, you are being listened to and tracked 24 seven. They can see our texts, they can see our emails, they know where we go, who we call, which apps we use, 
and what we buy and what we browse. And by having an ad ID running on your phone, the apps you're using are constantly gathering and storing your personal information and using it to monitor you and to monetize our data. We thought our phone is the product, but the reality is the product is us and our personal information is the product. And by the way, even when we think our phone is off, it's still listening. I'm excited to announce that the days of our phones harvesting our personal private information for the benefit of big tech and big government ends right now. Because of a new smartphone developed by Eric Prince, the phone is called Unplugged. Unplugged is built with a totally independent operating system that is absolutely secure. No tracking us in apps, every call and text is end-to-end -end encrypted. They can't listen in or follow our online activity, and if we were ever under threat, we can send a code, and our data is totally wiped. And I love that it has the camera, speed storage, and chipset that rival the iPhone and Android. If you're like me, I've had it as a journalist or any citizen that wants to protect their privacy. I've had it with all of my personal and private information being exposed and exploited by big tech and big government. So I'm joining Eric Prince, Mr. Pentagon Guy, and I'm switching to my new unplugged phone. And I'm also gonna tell you how you can also. So grab a pen, write this down, to protect your privacy and get your very own unplugged phone. That's unplugged.com slash OMG. That's unplugged.com slash OMG. Take your privacy back. Unplugged.com slash OMG.